My name is Ryan Call and this is for Project Milestone 1. As you can see, it ex the tank exists and can move in an environment, in a testable environment, with different shapes that you can run into to see how it affects with it. The player input is recorded using WASD D that can be changed in the inspector based on and change which tank is the pawn for the m movement is in a separate tank m mover that can that is hooked up that is that can that is can be transferred using that uses character controller simple move for the forward and backward movement and uses transform.rotate for in order to tur turn directions. The tank variables are exposed so that you can change how fast the bullet goes, what the bullet shoot point is, your health, your forward move speed, your reverse move speed, which must be negative, otherwise you can go forward, your turn speed, what pawn it is, how what keys you use to move. The shooter component does fire shells from the shoot point in the direction your tank is facing. And it uses a timer in the strip which limits, which uses the Time dot delta time to count how many seconds it is till you reload. That can be changed in the editor, so you can change it from only needing three seconds, two seconds, one second, a minute. That you can change. The shells do collide with other tanks and do damage to them, as you can see by the current health. And they do are and they are destroyed depend for any whenever they run into any collider and the bullets disappear after so many seconds stated used by count the time dot delta time with the variable being able to ch be changed in the bullet prefab of how long do you want how long before you want it destroyed and the game manager is a singleton that has access to and all any tank datas out there oh. the code it is bug and error free as shown by be it being able to run. It has plenty of comments strewn throughout the entire project. And there isn't much, but it is organized based on what uses what. And it exceeds minimum requirements right now is I have a fell screen for when you fell, a start screen, and a success screen for when you were already built so it's easier to use later. So I don't have to do as much work later. And that should be it. Thank you for taking your time out to watch this.